Hi guys, today in this video I will show you how to use share folders within Oracle VirtualBox to share files between a Windows virtual machine and the host machine. To start with, make sure that your VirtualBox VM is up and running. So I have got a demo VM which is Windows 10 VM, it is up and running. What you need to do is go to the devices menu option and click on the insert guest additions CD image option. Once it is done, go to the explorer. Click on this PC and you will see a CD drive D virtual box guest editions in there. Double click on it. It will ask you to install Oracle VM virtual box guest editions on this machine. Click yes. Click next. Let it installed in the default location and click on the install button. I will let the installation complete. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Now if it asks for anything else just install. It now asks to reboot the virtual machine. Go ahead and click on reboot. Meanwhile, let me minimize this. Go to the host machine and we need to create a shared folder. This folder can be created anywhere you want, but make sure you remember its name and location. So I'm just creating it within user admin folder. So I'll just right click, create new folder. I'll just name it as I share. I already have got an image file that I want to share with my VM. So I'm just gonna copy it and put it in the share folder. Okay, we have now copied the file. Let's check the status of the VM, which is up and running now. Click on the devices option and select shared folders and shared folders settings. In this window, click on the plus icon to add a new shared folder. Click on the down arrow and select other. Here you will see the list of folders to be shared. Just navigate to the folder you created earlier. So in our case, we created my shared folder. So I'm just going to select it. This folder contains the image file which that we shared with the virtual machine. Click on the select folder. Now there are a couple of other options. From the host machine to the VM, you can specify whether you want to give a read only access to the VM or full read and write access. So if you check this box, it will give you just read only access. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. The auto mount option, we will just skip this option as we don't really need it. And the last option is the make permanent option. If when it is checked, this folder will be permanently available whenever you boot up your VM machine. So I'm just going to tick it so that every time our machine boots up, this share folder is available. I'm just going to click OK and 
OK here. Now we are almost done with the shared folder. So there are certain settings which you might have to do if the folder is not visible to you. In that case, what you need to do is in your VM, click on the network. And if the folder is successfully shared, you will see this computer icon. If it is not visible, just right click on the network icon, go to properties. And in here, click on change advanced sharing settings. And make sure the radio button turn on network discovery is clicked. And the checkbox turn on automatic setup of network connected devices is also checked. Since in our case it is already done, so I'm just going to press cancel here. So as I said before, you will see VirtualBox server icon, double click on it and it will show you the shared folder we created earlier. So this is my share. If you double click on it, you can see the image file here. What you can do is you can drag and drop this image file on your desktop or wherever you want to do and the file is available. Similarly, you can share your ISO image or any of the other files which you want to share with your VM. So let me open the file and see if we can access it. Yes, as you can see, the file has been successfully copied and we can open the file. So this is how to use shared folder functionality within the Oracle VirtualBox to share files between a virtual machine and the host machine. If you haven't already done, please subscribe, share and like the video. Good luck with your file sharing. Please do let me know in comments if you face any issues. Thank you.